And who knows when we're actually going to go on air. It might be now. And it is uh, Tuesday, I believe, the 4th of February, and it is Euroscrum uh, Ad Adventures pick up and whatever we do on this day. So uh, I will, I'll just start off by pressing the screen share, and someone will beat me. I've got ah, somebody is sending me an image. Goodness me. Um, I have to say there's a lot of things. I'm not, don't, not always sure what the noises mean that I get on my computer, but anyway. Um, but uh, let's go to... Oh, actually, there's a Skype image. Somebody's sending me a Skype image individually, maybe? Or I'm not even sure now. Goodness me, over here. I have to say accept. Um, right. And we are... Let's start with autograders. Autograders, yes. Uh, Yarrow, I have turned on the the thing for the thing. I mean, that's the private one, but the uh, I've turned on... Uh, and it's uh, working. Yay, the thing is working on the thing. That's what I like to hear first thing on the Tuesday morning. Uh, right, so I probably need so to go over here to look. I'm sending you. I'm sending the link. Excellent. Well, this is the pull request. So here, yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Uh, why, why wouldn't I want to put details? Okay, they could have hyperlinked that in time. You guys, you guys are not making any sense whatsoever. No, no, no emotional <laughs> outbursts. <laughs> it's, it's very fun to to hear, but could you just explain what the hell? Yeah. You... Okay. So what we've got is this homework test repo contains uh, just sort of some stubs of uh, some homeworks, uh, okay. and the, the the basically the the big the reason we're tying ourselves in knots to to a certain extent is that the auto grader itself is basically designed to work with other pieces of code that shouldn't necessarily exist in the same repository, unlike some other you know systems uh, that just like deal with you know, human inputs and like then dump some other express things back. This system actually has to take code as input and then, you know, give reports back. But so we can't, in general, have the um, homeworks themselves bundled with the, the order grader because it needs to be extensible. Like any instructor needs to be able to set up their own homework repository. And we, what we also need is for the, if, a, if a, um, an instructor has set up a homework repository, we need for that homework repository to be validated against the order grading framework. Um, and so this is we've got a trial run of that. Uh -huh. So at the at the moment, what we've got is homework tests, and we've got just the very very slimmest, just the Ruby intro homework. And mm -hmm. uh, Yarrow has just with this pull request sent over uh, the appropriate bits and pieces. We'll have to have a look at them uh, in order to test this homework. So now we have Travis YAML. So this is the process. Then is it uh, Yarrow? It kind of it clones the entire rag. Okay, it's doing your one at the moment. And I will explain why it's not doing the uh, the Agile Ventures of SaaS book in a, in a moment, because yeah. I've tried that many, many times. Okay, right. Uh, okay, and yeah, so now, yeah, so this looks, this looks but so yes, t t t tell me why this is using your thing rather than another thing. Um, let's um, uh, just, just step over to Travis for a second, I'll, I'll show you what's happening there. Yeah, okay, it's, Travis, it's sort yes. It's more verbose. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if you look in here, it clones it clones the rag repo inside the homeworks. Mm -hmm. It runs the bundle install on it. Yeah. And then if you scroll it scroll if you scroll there it starts the uh, cucumber tests. Yes. For testing the homework. Yeah. And the first step is the first step is actually uh, you see the steps uh, the first step is saying running cucumber and aspect tests on rag. So it is actually running uh, it's lying. Where is it? Uh, is it just a little below? You could tell me a line number, but um... uh, scroll down a little. Yeah, it's two hundred and eighty. Is it? Uh, I can't see. Two hundred and eighty-five. I mean, it goes up to two hundred and six. All right, so it's two hundred and six then. Given I it's have a homework review well. intro in the repo. Yeah, so what, uh, one line above. Yeah, so the first thing oh, it does yeah, is it actually runs there. the... Yeah. Yeah, it runs the Cucumber and Aspect Test on the RAG repo, which it cloned, just right. to see if, we, if it's working fine. Oh, okay, okay, it yeah. yeah. So it tests the exit codes and all that, uh, mm -hmm. just to see if, you know, the oh, process has been run, really fine. Fantastic, yeah. yeah and then it good. grabs the Ruby intro homework and runs the RAG on it. And yeah. Here we have a step, then I should see no runtime errors, and we're checking for exit status. Um, on the process, yeah. and then I should see the test results, and we get the test results for the actual homework. Brilliant. And then um, Paul has already implemented the steps for checking stuff like I should get 
hundred percent out of hundred percent for right. running whether it's the solution uh, solutions, or or, solutions yeah. with spec and then we have all other steps like you can yeah. see there ru running solutions on skeletons skeletons yeah. and solutions and Lovely. all that kind of stuff <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah the reason why I'm not I've tried pulling the agile ventures rag and Salzburg rag mm -hmm. And it, it just doesn't compile in Travis. It gives us it gives the same error over over again about installing Zentest. Ah, if you can okay. see here, it is installing Zentest 4.9.5. Yeah. Okay. In the in the gem file that we have in Agile Ventures rag it's in the Sasbit it's it, it's 494, and it just yeah. doesn't get installed. Yeah. Okay. So I try version of the the Ruby gems version down to. 2.2.0. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. I, I think I think that's a. I is. Uh, I thought we. I mean, that's an issue that we've encountered in other places. I thought we had fixed that on um, uh, the the SARS book. If we go in even on. It's Martha. like I've been jumping around this issue with you yeah, know, no, trying I, it's really annoying. I know. Get it uh, but if we look at the gem file lock here on so Zentest, yeah, it's four nine four on the master there, uh, and if we go on develop. Uh, gem file, no, lock, sorry, hold on, gem file, yeah, I we don't even, okay, yeah, oh, all right, I, well, I think, I, I think I know, I think I know what the, what is needed, we, we need to, we need to populate, um, you know, that gem file thing, I, I think, um, that's, that, that's clear, you know, this is what I'm trying to do, I, I want to pull this in, and, um, uh, get this, get this, get this working on here, yeah, it looks, it looks good. Yeah, so if you tell us how yeah. to go around and it, it, and it's basically at the moment it's sort of hard coded specifically to the structure of this particular homework repo, but I think that's that's fine for starters. Yeah, at the moment, yeah, and Paul has got some other tests there, like checking for directory structure, checking that the yeah. files are actually in yeah, there, yeah. and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And we'll make it more universal just a yeah, little yeah. bit later, okay. like you know, checking for yeah. files well, in directory. Let's, 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 we'll, we'll pull we'll pull that in and see if it also runs. You know, uh, separately there, and I can I can maybe make some changes to it. That that's uh, that's great. Um, yeah, fantastic stuff. Th what that reminds me of is just so I was looking at the uh, if we go to Agile Ventures uh, rag, I was looking at I mean you know great job cleaning up this this pull request. The only thing I was started, I, I made a comment here that I see so this is the thing as well also is as clean the pull requests get cleaned up. You have more capacity mm -hmm. to look, view the different things. I was then looking at the differences. That there's actually like a lot of changes. Like obviously, I think we do need to upgrade Zentest for 495, just kind of periods. Uh, but there's a lot of additional changes here that I suspect are, you know, we, we haven't got that many changes in the gem file. Do you know what I mean? This looks like the bundle yeah. update has been run at some point. So I, and, the, and the, you know, it's like I, I know it's kind of like it's sort of stupid at some level. It's like, oh, of course we should be using the latest gems. It's just that the current production system is all working with a particular gem file lock. I want to um, upgrade everything, but I want to make sure that we're still supporting our, you know, base base system. So, you know, we sure, sure. So, I, I didn't know how to go around this because, you know, um, I mean, I tried not submitting the gem file lock, but yes. then the, the Travis, Travis says that, you know, you're submitting the gem file without the gem file lock run bundle update or something. Then I, I, try well, I think the thing that you, what you should ideally do is mm -hmm. blow away gemfile.lock that you've got locally and then replace it with whatever, you know, uh, and pull it from head for Agile Ventures rag is the thing to do there. So we've got gemfile lock in here. What you want to do is, you know, pull this into your local system, right? I, and, I'm and, pretty and, sure that I tried that, and I was getting the same error with the Zen test. I mean, I, yeah, mean, no, I started well, to I think, I think the, the, Zen, the Zen test is the one thing that I think that you can, you can ha I would be very happy for you to change, but I would change only that and nothing else. Uh, but the thing is, if you change it to 495, uh -huh. then um, then it doesn't like the source, rubygems.org, and it's asking for HTTPS, you know, that uh, other okay. line. Yeah. Uh, so I'll try playing. Well, we can we can maybe both look at that together. Anyway, I think that's probably that, that that's the key, the key issues reviewed on auto graders. Any other key business for auto graders? I think we're we're clear of the sticking points now. Mm -hmm. 
But I guess we didn't actually. Did we not have even a? T we, we should try and. Uh, this is this is my bad in some ways. We should try and have a. T did, we, did we have a task there for? Um, what, yeah, what? yeah, it's one of the bottom feature. Uh, uh, yes. No, no, I don't mean the feature creators. I mean, I mean the uh, the stuff that we just did with Travis. That pull request we were talking about. Yeah, it is there. Ah, that's it. The bottom one, private reaper with homework. Ah, okay, yeah. So we've got. Um, current, yeah. Yeah. So I think we could we could definitely click. Uh, I guess we didn't actually do it with a private repo, so that's that's the next next step. I, I mean, I'll I'll do that. I guess that's still ongoing, so we won't let us finish. But great work there. Yeah. I mean, I wrote it yesterday, but you know, you, you should review the description and have a look if you know that's the yeah yeah of the, of, the, of the thing. Yes, yes. No, I I think this is yeah. I th I think this this is it. Well, what we well, the, well, the key thing is you were going to get me that bio so I can introduce you to Amanda properly. I am. I, I don't know why, but it's just getting so hard. I'm, I was just well, what, no, but writing thing, it up. Yeah, right why, but why don't you, I mean, the, the key thing to do is, uh, I, I, can see, I can see what, what you're feeling like. Uh, why don't you send me something, and I can review it for it, and we can go backwards and forwards. Don't feel that what you send me... Yeah, I think that's a lot that better. Amanda. Send me a draft, and I'll help you, you know, I'll help you with it. That should be the thing. Sure, right. Uh, okay, I'll do that. I'll do I that. that, that, that I, I, I know what you're in. I've asked people before for buyers like this, and they can often get stuck with this thing, but... Um, uh, I'll just put that in there so we don't get it. All right. So let's move on to. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure everybody wants to talk about website one. So let's talk about website one. Uh, what's going on with website one, Thomas? Uh, well, uh, we we uh, did we did some of the stories that you rejected. Uh, I'm a bad man. Uh, yes. Well, it, it was understandable. So yes. So I uh, at least not irrational. Go. On. Yeah, so that's done, and uh, apart from that, so we can revisit them whenever you want. Yeah, should we quickly, quickly revisit them now? That, that sure, kind of, sure. I, I think if, if, they're, if they're fast, that sort of also helps people get up to date with, uh, you know, where we are. So should I be looking at production? Uh, yes, you should. Yes, you should. Uh, okay, and so what you should also do, yes, you should look at production. Uh, and... Uh, and Pivotal Tracker, of course, so you can see what story we're talking about. Yeah. And the ones we had rejected... That's not yeah, so we've got here. project show index page. Uh, yes. That's due to the intendation, I think. Which has been fixed here, as I yes. can see. Yes. Yeah. I mean, uh, and I and I think I can probably accept this. I just note that the um, the arrow pointing up and down seems slightly odd. Does it seem odd to anybody else? Um, I guess I just note, for example, and I think this shouldn't be a reason to like reject it, but I note that it goes from um, pointing. Like, you know, on, on Google Sites, not that they're the arbiter of taste or anything, but they, it goes from you know pointing down to pointing sideways. Ah, I mean like this. Okay. So you wanted to point point. Uh, sideways. you know, but uh, well, does anybody else? Does that sort of look a little bit weird to anybody? Maybe I've just been using Google Sites too long. Maybe that's yeah. The cool. UI on the Mac also does that. It points sideways when closed, and down when open. Yeah, like like this. I guess not not in that view, but if we go into this view, yeah, like this. Yeah. Yes. 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 I don't know about on on Windows. I, right. I mean, is is that something that's like uh, a complicated thing to change? For this? No, no, it's it's not a complicated thing. Yeah. Well, I, I think I think. A... Yeah. Maybe we could just um, uh, uh, I think accept that and then put that in as a kind of a chore to fix, maybe. Uh, yes, sir. Or even a, even a bug. Uh, a uh, chore would be nice. I don't. I don't see this as a bug, actually. <laughs> no, no, no. Sure, we put it. Just put it as a chore. No, I, it's clearly operational as it as it stands. Yes. So um, I've, what I've done now is I've, I've migrated some of the documents and uh, yes. I added. added uh, and this is quite uncomplicated for us. We just cut and paste most of it. Yeah. If you look at, at meeting eleven uh, mm -hmm. down below. If you click that. I was just I was I was noticing here that when I edit this thing, there isn't a cancel operation. Yes, well, you have undo and redo, you know. It's, uh, no, but I mean cancel as in that, like, I don't want to save anything. Like, I make some changes. But, like, I, so I guess it's like... It was, it was the button uh, back, Thomas. There. Yeah, we had a back button, and, and you didn't why, want why we it. Because, because the client said you didn't want ah, it. Ah, uh, yes. Right, but, <laughs> no, no, but back, back, I think back and cancel have two different meanings. It was cancel. Yeah, yeah. yeah back, back means just as a link to the, the, the thing. But, yeah, if it had said cancel, then that would have made sense. But... Um, yeah. I think back, back is kind of like, you know, well, where did I necessarily, how do you know where I came from? Kind the of thing. thing here is that we can add that to, to, the, to the ongoing story that we have because yeah. what, what, we, what we're doing now is we, we are, apart from having the save button up in the, 
mm-hmm. uh, you know, the, the 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 bar up there. It, we, yeah. We're also adding it uh, to this. Yeah, you're the, adding it to the to the thing. Yeah, right we have here. A, we have a feature for that, and Yaro okay. is working on that. So I yeah, can yeah. extend that story to add. Yeah, a, that's a good add idea. That sounds good. Is that okay with you, Yaro? That sounds good. Yeah, sure, sure. No. I just wanted to suggest that it would be easy to add it, no problem. Sure, so do you, do we just like press cancel and go back to the basically uh, in history? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Thomas, look at this document meeting eleven. It uh, said that it created uh, by you at first yeah. of February. Uh, yeah. Can't we migrate uh, it with whom was created it in Google Docs to right. to save history? Uh, you can have a look at it. I don't know. I ha- I have no idea. Yeah. I, I just I just cut and paste those documents now. So yeah, because you know. yeah, yeah, because when you cut and paste, the author of those documents are changed. Sam, what do do, do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, that that's that would be nice, but uh, I don't think it's a priority. I think you could add a separate story, which would basically allow the site admin to edit, to create, you know, any any. I mean, ideally, the site admin can ultimately edit any of these things. So I, I would push that out into a separate, you know. So I, I don't think that's necessary before the thing goes live. But um, you know, you know I, so the thing is that well, I am reluctant to 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 do this, to, you know, because we don't know how Google sites are built up, and in order for us to do a you know, an export on of everything. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not talking about doing an export. I'm just. No, I'm, no, no. But Pavel is. I, no, well, well, well yeah. Pavel is, and I would. I think I would agree with the point that you're about to make, Thomas, which is that yeah, we're not sure about how to gra- grab that data. And my circumvention for that, having anticipated the point that you're making, uh-huh. is that what we do is we just provide the ability for the site admin to update yeah. that. So, in if there is a situation in which the person, you know, it can be a, it can be handled by an individual rather than by a batch process. Mm. Yeah, we can we can add that as a story to to be able to add that. You know, author those attributes in afterwards. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that would be my suggestion. So what I did here in this particular one, this one, uh, this yes. one wasn't just uh, cut and paste because we are adding a video. So I cut and paste the uh, content, and mm-hmm. the links are following, and that's all beautiful. Yes. yes. But the video itself needs to be added manually. So that's a two-step. Uh, you know, actually, to cre- to to create a document is there are two steps. First, you create the the title, then you go in and edit the document. You have mm-hmm. to paste in the 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 existing content. In this case, there are three steps. You know, additional step is adding the video uh, manually. You know, but so you can just add the. It's like the the video. If you if you create a new meeting, uh, and so call it twelve, please, because we don't have a dis- destroy action. So I can go. <laughs> right, but I'll need a meeting for fifty four eventually. You will, but you, I just add twelve. Okay, okay. please. All right. <laughs> um, you can just try it on the database. But so, for example, here, yeah, if I want to uh, edit a video and kind of go in there, uh, let's grab a recent video. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the way I, I needed to do this, you know. I so we've done this, and then, but so presumably, have I not got like HTML? Oh, I have to click media, do I, to insert a video? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, and I can go. Right, and as long then there's a thing about the foot, like the YouTube URL, it has to be in this yes, particular. Yes. Sh- like I think I, I do know how to get there. That's that. Oh, okay, it's interesting. The share one that I get doesn't give that version. That's 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 a very strange thing because on some videos on YouTube you get this YouTube, and so on some videos you don't get it. And we we will we. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I just need to I need to com- I need to grab this. Uh, if yes. I go here and then I over, I've got, actually got overwrite that. That was the, I think the. We have already. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I mean, just, no, yeah. I, yeah. I just wanted to mention this that that it's not only cut and paste most of it. You know, we we have to add those videos yeah, manually. Yeah. And so. But I mean, I, I added those 11, 11 videos for on it. It took me ten minutes, something or nothing. Yeah, like yeah. So, so it's it's. I, I think we will be able to migrate our, everything quite fast yeah, for you. Yeah, you can know. keep uh, keep working on it, right? <clears throat> yeah, and I would say if I go uh, then here, like, inter- 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 uh, but we we need to fix the the sorting of those meetings. You yeah. Know, because for some reason it's it's arbitrary. You know, okay. meeting nine is on top, although it's yeah. created right after meeting eight. So 
you know. Okay. But I, I set up a, I set up a chore for that already. But this but so but this story is you know for the this is for the projects individual pages and the the overall yeah. thing. So we've got this is the overall thing, and I assume that uh, only the admin will see the edit buttons here. Uh, that's it, it, there's a story for this, yes. Uh, at, least, well, at least, actually, actually, only the creator and the admin will see them. Okay, yeah, no, that's that sounds right. Okay, so it, anyway, at least for people, uh, oop, uh, oh, I love logging in with GitHub. Goodness me, that's fun. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. So anyway, we're talking about so so here. It's like for, for this page, we've got a new project option. We've got a list of projects, um, and then we've got so the show page for the individual projects has got that and that. Yes. And we've talked about uh, so, yeah, so I think that, that that story can be accepted there. Um, and but we talked about adding a chore specifically for um, sourcing. This is the uh, projects. Uh, it's already. Is there one? Did you have one already? Uh, sorting project sidebar. Uh, okay. Yeah. We're trying. Okay. Okay. No, I didn't know that. I. I. Good. You can add it. I guess what is it? It's like um, specifically open uh, things should have should triangles point, to the left. Point what? sideways, sideways, perhaps you can. Which one is it? The point sideways. It's like when they're it's a cl cl closed, closed point sideways. Specifically, uh, closed elements have it's a right pointing triangle. Okay, excellent. All right, and then uh, add created by. Yes, so that kind of failed, and oh, well, I guess I should go and look at the document that I created to double check uh, that was in, I forget, local sport. Yes. So, climb is a good example of an ongoing document creation thing that I'm going to be using every created by me. That seems to work. That looks good. Um, and we've got, so you've got something in there somewhere about, have we added that information about the uh, bigger story to allow admin to be able to edit that, those things? Not yet. I will add that. I will add that. Okay. Uh, and then. We've got an add contact form mailer thing there. Right. Uh, oh, contact us. Goodness me. Yes. Name, Sam. No. Can't spell. How do you spell awesome? Something like that. OK. I've sent you a message. Well, actually, you sent it to a mail that Yarrow created. But I think you will get a copy of it. Yes, you will, because I, I, I sent it. You will. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I got a, a message actually. Yes. Mm. You will get a confirmation. Uh, yeah. And I'm quite surprised it's. And I'm quite surprised it's working just out of the box with uh, Hiroko. Well, it, it's not exactly out of the box. I, I had to tweak it a little. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, I had, to add, I had to add the credentials to the uh, development. Uh, Environment, and there was some, but and also we have to set environmental va variables. Uh, don't worry about it. I can t I can talk you ah, through. Ah, so it is. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you you set you set it up beautifully for the for the development, you know. But the, 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 uh, production is another thing. So. Right. And right. there's a, some sec security issues, and also, uh, clients. Um, I assume that you have fulfilled right. your task in creating an info at agileventures.org email address. I have failed in that task. Do you have? Oh, because no, I haven't. I haven't started it. But yes, uh, I'd have to work out how to do that. Yes, I can. I can try and do that. Where Where is my task on that? Is that in here somewhere? Uh, but anyway, I, I, I will. I will prioritize doing that immediately. Okay. Uh, I have to go to my hosting people. Okay. Um, so, any other website one business? No, the guys are working on on. Uh, on the all the stuff. Yes. Uh, we're just adding a new, you know, starting a new sprint. Did you accept this contact form, or are uh, you waiting for yeah something to appear? Uh, you know, I'd love to see something appear. Okay. Uh, but ah, yeah, website one contact form. It did appear. It says, oh. "Thank you for your feedback. Your message has been sent to website one administrator. We will get you okay. get back to you shortly." Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we done with website one then for the moment. Okay. Yaro, can you log into that to, to that account and see if it's actually, you, you know. Uh, sure, sure. 
that would be great. Then he he can actually see immediately if it's like there or not. Yeah. Okay. I'm just doing that. Coolish. Starting to share the screen. Well, uh, let's not hold up on that. Uh, if I just, I don't think there's any update on the Odin project. We had a nice chat with that with that Bill last time. Uh, other things, local support. That's it. Oh, go on, Yara. I just have a look at my screen. Uh, for some reason, it's not. I mean, I've got the green arrow, but not actually seeing it. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, send me a screenshot of that. I mean, I think there's, you know, we don't want to burn the, the time. You can send me a screenshot of it or, or whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out. Um, local support. Uh, we pulled in the fix for for this. I don't think there's been any further work since. Has, has anybody got any local support business? No, I, I should work on my short. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm uh, hoping at some point we'll eventually have, you know, the website one will be doing most of the things we want to do, and then we can sort of focus on the, the other projects. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. I mean, one of the other things that's sort of happening is, well, I, you know, I don't know. Um, this is an interesting thing here. Well, I, I guess moving on from local support, I mean, basically my plan is to try and hit that fairly hard tomorrow. Um, and, you know, obviously the local, local support regulars are in the afternoon session. Um, if we move on, then just uh, I have not got this funniest computer ever thing set up, and a couple of people expressed interest in it. Um, I've got a list of my chores that I'm working with on on, on doing things. Um, did you get my explanation of why this was relevant, Thomas? Or it's like crazy thing. Which one? Well, uh, what? Uh... Well, the funniest computer ever. I mean, the the the, the idea is. Um, I, I think the, the 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 technical part of it. Well, the idea is that this is a charity thing. Like previously, it's been a competition, and the prize money has gone to. We've crowdsourced prize money, and the uh -huh. money has gone to the people with the funniest chat box, as, uh -huh. as uh, assessed by the judges. And we want to turn it into a charity thing where all the all the prize money goes to charity. So there's a big thing in the UK called Comic Relief, and okay. that's all comedians uh, doing stuff charity for like to help people in Africa and also people disadvantaged people in the UK. And so we're trying to hook up with that, and I also want to like try and crowdsource the voting. So I want like an interface where people can like interact with the chatbots and then okay. they can vote on how funny or not funny they thought the chatbot was. Um, so there's a you know big technical component which I think would be interesting to work on. It's a non-profit thing, so it's mm -hmm. kind of a match. Uh, and I also would love the um, you know to have a chat chatbots in uh, edX169 kind of coming in and uh, you know when all the people are coming in. You know, we we don't have time to answer all the individual questions. It would be nice to have a chatbot with a sense of humor that could be managing the people coming into. Oh, of course. You know, so, so anyway, who, who sure. estimate who estimate uh, that it's funny or not? Because uh, you know, humor is <laughs> different in English or in Russia. No, <laughs> of course, it's the same around the world. I thought the hu humor was the one constant, isn't it? Mm. No. Really? No, no, no. no uh. I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. I mean, uh, of course, <laughs> but that's so. You know, I think that there's. Yeah, that, 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 that's the point, though, is that still you can crowdsource it. So, I mean, you know, and there's also even people with... I have heard that people in the same country sometimes find different things funny. Unbelievable, but true. So, I mean, you know, it's it's sort of... that That's the idea. About, so far, we've been doing it just with the judges of it being funny or not. But with crowdsource voting, I mean, you know, you can still have... And then you can sort of, like, say... You could break it up and say, well, this is the funniest chatbot in Russia, uh, you know, for Russians or whatever, or this is the people, the funny people for the people in, you know, Siberia or what, what have you. I mean, it's kind of, you know, that would be an interesting thing to be doing if you can get the, you know, location or the first language or whatever of the of the people. But I, I do. You, you need to look at location and uh, sure. and adjust your computer to yeah. make humorous with its location. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Well, that's but obviously, if you think about it, for the one six nine, we've got people from all around the world coming yeah. in there, and what would be fantastic, wouldn't it, is if like you were coming into one six nine, you're coming in from Russia, and you've got a chatbot that was able to make a quick joke in Russian that you'd actually find funny based on which city you lived in. That would yeah. be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Anyway, um, but so uh, you know, the, the the thing about Agile Ventures, at least my my kind of earlier vision for it, was that the projects, well, kind of one of the key things that we'd be doing with the whole thing is working with external customers, as we're doing in local support. I th that that was kind of the model for, you know, because because the thing that it's 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 relatively easy for people to get together and start working on open source project. They've been doing it for many years, but um, kind of doing the full Agile development with an external customer is kind of more, more, more challenging to set up, and that's partly what this is all supposed to provide, as in these different projects. Funniest computer ever, again, is another project, you know, like, let's say, the Odin project or um, other things that are being pulled in, that doesn't have an ex explicit 
external customer like local support. Website one's getting away with you know, me pretending to be the customer, which seems to be working reasonably well. But do you guys have any strong feelings one way or the other about the kinds of products coming into Agile Ventures? Should we be trying to find more products that have explicit external customers? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, yeah. that's the way to learn, and I think it's a, it's a great it's a great way to go. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I think on, on that. I mean, that's something I, I'm always in the background, sort of looking for 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 people. I mean, that the the, the, di the difficulty is really finding an external customer who wants to really engage. Like we do have. Um, I can find it now uh, in Agile. And like I did, maybe on the Wednesday evening, I'll have to start going to this. But, but the, these guys who do the Alavatelli, um, there is sort of like a, a London meetup which involves charity people. Maybe I will start to hit that instead of doing a second um, open pair programming session again. But so. The people who are doing this, I kind of, I couldn't sufficiently get them to kind of like, they, they say, oh yeah, so been a pull request or whatever, but they weren't going to be, you know, kind of doing client meetings and so on like we do with local support. So, I mean, the key thing for you guys, to the extent that you feel that, yes, those are the kinds of products that we should have, or, you know, we, we all want to be on the lookout for non-profits with IT issues who would, you know, have time to act as an, you know, uh, an external client. Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox there. And go back here, and so yeah. I mean, there's. We'll wait until somebody who's. I don't think there's any funniest computer business apart from me getting stuff done. Uh, no, but I mean, can, can't from, you find some somebody to to? to I mean, can, you could potentially give this project away to somebody, or or you know, and 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 make them. Oh be, yeah, well no, I mean, hopefully, if I can get somebody excited, an external customer excited enough about it, eventually, mm -hmm. yes. And I mean, I think that's to a certain extent all all, all of these things. You know, uh, I mean, you know, with the review integrators. Armando is our, you know, external. I mean, all of them have external customers to a degree. It's all about, you know, we want ideally external customers with a strong vision and the time to interact with us. So, you know, and so yeah, as well as finding new projects, you know, the existing ones. I mean, the other thing always we have to be careful about is is not having too many projects and also splitting between different sessions so that they um they go that way. Anyway, so that's I think at least that's mentioned. I'm feeling like there's EduChat is the other one. Um, I think no updates there. We've got nobody at no EduChats. So we'll you know leave that to the next scrum unless anybody feels something strongly. Uh, so and then the final thing I think uh, I mentioned yesterday, but Thomas wasn't there, was the big ideas that I was having over the weekend, uh, which meant just at the risk of possibly boring people who heard about it yesterday, was this idea I was having for uh, 169 uh, training of community TAs. Mm. Yeah, I I I, I, caught that. I I caught that on the on the recording. Oh, excellent. excellent. Great idea. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Well, I went, and, I went and, and also, you know, well, well, I was watching the recording and I couldn't interact with you guys, but I also had a few comments because I felt, you know, personally, uh, I felt very lost as a TA. You know, I was like, yes. I was, I was going into the, 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 the I mean, there are, we have some ninja TAs like the Michael. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, these guys are are incredible. But you know, I, I, I was a little bit like, I don't know what I can say. I can't say. You right. know. Right, so right. Uh, more of guidelines and also the things that you were talking about, like what, what are I mean? We have to have a strategy. What kind of stuff to from what, what uh, Armando and Dave are, David are talking about? But mm -hmm. for instance, you know the ping ponging, the the, the yeah, collaboration, yeah. The, the the stuff. Uh, what what do we want to convince to, to to the students? So I think the training a training program, not too ambitious, but just you know a few hours at least, uh, you know, or, or at least. A few, few oh, topics totally. it would be would be great. Would be yeah, awesome. well, uh, absolutely, I totally agreed. And I, and I think uh, you know what I'd like to do ideally is start it as soon as possible and allow it to be something that's ongoing. So potentially, you know, if people are interested in getting involved in agile ventures, then you know it's something we could be doing for quite a long period with them. Uh, anyway, but also uh, I mentioned it to EdX and to Armando, and Armando gives is says he's really wants it to happen as well. So mm. that's a good vote of support. Um, so I think that's. Covered. So I think we've covered everything possibly. Is anybody is anybody stuck or anything um, at all? Uh, no, but I have a, I have a thing that actually uh, about projects because I was I was talking to Marion yes yesterday and it <laughs> kind of touches on the on the Kickstarter campaign that, that that we saw today over you know. Oh, the um, Hello Ruby thing. Yeah, because I I was I've been talking to to a girl that I know that's into, you know, she's, she's into computer science and stuff, she lives in a different city than me and we, we did some projects together before and she, she pitched me, a, you know, a vague idea of, of teaching computer science to, to young girls, you know, yes. and so she wanted to set up some sort of a website and, you know, get some funding from the, from the city 
uh, for it, you know, and and do some real life, uh, you know, meetings with with kids for in schools in the, you know, in 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 uh, in Sweden, you know, like mm -hmm. you have a group of of, uh, you know, ten to twenty girls, and you know, bring the, some some Chromebooks with her and do, do yeah. some programming, that, you know, and so she asked me about about. Uh, what could be you know what could be done for young kids how could you teach them uh, mm -hmm. computer science and i pointed her to Com uh, code academy right, you know right. and we we have this ongoing discussion one idea i had was if we could you know have this as a as a project you know mm -hmm. within agile ventures mm -hmm. perhaps potentially you know yeah totally and then and then you, you know this morning I, I spoke to marion about it because i know she's a high school teacher so yes, i spoke to her about uh, about it yesterday and yeah. this morning we see this this uh, stuff, you know, about uh, this children's book that we just got. To, what, what was it? Two hundred thousand dollars in funding. Right, right. Yes. And because I see this potentially a good upside, you know, because you know, making computer science yeah. accessible to to females basically is is I mean to children for for one thing, but yeah. also to 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 make it make it interesting for girls. It's it's a, it's yeah. a quite challenging. Uh, thing, but it's also a, something that that is is very interesting for for the broader public, and I think yeah. funding for it would be kind of easy to get. You know. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of with the um, the Kickstarter things. I'm often it's it's difficult to. I mean, having gone through quite a lot of uh, crowdfunding myself, or so at least two years of crowdfunding with the funniest computer ever. I mean, you can say that's such a ridiculous idea. Why should you get any funding? Um, I'm kind of I don't know. I'm sort of the there's this I. I, idea of this beautiful place of like you know crowdfunding and suddenly all this money comes in. I'm kind of I think often it's a framework with people who kind of yeah I, I, I think it's it's often harder than it looks. But still I think the idea fundamentally fantastic. Um, mm. So yeah, I'm I, 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 I'm not saying we have to do a, a crowdfunding campaign. No 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 no. But I'm just I'm just I'm just you know want to pitch the the yeah. Oh well, but no but to, to, totally yeah. I, th I think throughout the westernized world, for want of a better term, uh, th there's a lot of money for you know initiatives to help people learn how to code. Personally, mm. I think we need a lot more initiatives about people to learn how, to learn uh, conflict conflict resolution. But that'll be my project um, maybe in the next decade. Um, <laughs> the um, anyway just just. Uh, on the note of getting things fixed, I've got here in, about to set up info at agileventures.org. Recipients, you know, sam at neurogrid.com. Anybody else want to be on the info at agileventures.org uh, forwarding list? Oh, you could add me. Uh, yeah. What's the what's the talkman at gmail? No, well, it's it's it's, it's Thomas. Oh, uh, oh, let me just. Anyway, well, pay, yeah, pay, everybody who wants to be on that list, paste in the um, uh, what's it called? It is uh, all emails going to us. This will just forward any email going to info at agileventures.org to you know these uh, these addresses. Oh yeah, put my list to my so, email. Uh, oh yeah. Thomas at mail dot ru. Okay, and. Yeah. So while you're typing this in, I, uh, yeah. how do you want to? I mean, is it okay if we, in the future, perhaps set up a, some sort of a meeting and you know totally. we could we could talk to talk to her? I mean, it's. it's and um, she's you're just saying. I mean, she's sort of a relative, relatively non-technical person, is that right? Well, she she's she's attending a, a class for iOS uh, yeah. programming right now, and she's struggling with it heavily, you know. Sure. Uh, but I mean, she she's an entrepreneur. Right. She's right. an entrepreneur. She's got a vision. You know, yeah, she, yeah. We, we could arguably call her a, a, a non-technical customer. Yes, yes, yes. And she's she's yeah. fairly young. She's what is she, twenty three, four years old? You know, and I mean, she fits the profile for being you know female and and interested yeah. in technology, not too technically savvy, but you know, uh, I mean, she she's she works. She has work done work for young people uh, before, so you know. Uh, she, she could, she could fit the. You know, I mean, she could make a good quest customer, I think. Yeah, I'd be interested in this project as well. I've, yeah, um, I've got twins who are seven years old, and I've introduced oh, them. Yeah. I sat them in front of Code Academy. Right. Done the the HTML track with them, but they get bored with it so quickly because it's very dry. Yeah. Uh, oh, you got you got you got twins. I got I got five year old twins, Pete. You really? I have. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, cool there. And I've got and I've got a nine year old and I well the moment I the thing I'm doing is I mean I had him do like there's like MIT Scratch and E Toys and um yeah. uh, you know a few other things like Alice. 
But um, we've done Chrome Scratch, and Scratch is a lot better since it went um, web-based. Oh, they've got a web-based version now. Oh, I have to try that again. Yeah. But what I've just got my I got my son for Christmas. I got him uh, the EV3, the new Mi- Lego Mindstorms thing. So mm. he's kind All of right. quite enjoy. I mean, it, I haven't got him so much into the programming, but he's quite enjoying using the remote control on the robot. And then they've got a graphical programming language that's similar to Scratch for that. So, yeah. Anyway, I mean, I think you know the. Ooh, I mean, you know, that, that is another huge area that sounds like we've got a lot of interest on that, Thomas. So definitely set up a meeting, and I think you'll find lots of people wanting to get involved. Um, I, I should probably go and, like, do some other things now, at least briefly. Um, I mean, I'll tell you what, what's your... What's your mm. Do you guys yeah, want to carry, just, on? You want to carry I, I just, on chat? I, I, chat I, I, I forgot to mention one thing, just because credit must be given when, when it's due. Uh, yesterday I set up Jeff with a few chores in, in website one, and he's up and running... Uh, you know, working. He cloned the Good repo, choice. and, and stuff. So we have another project member. I think he's fairly new to to agile. Interest, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so he's working now. So oh, that's, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just want to mention it. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, let's wrap up there. Is anybody planning on pairing right now? Yeah. Um, yeah, I would. Yara, Yara, and Pete are free. We ideally we want kind of like. At, 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 I mean, you know, there would be like rather than having to particularly when there's when there's ten of us and asking and then everybody talks over each other, it would be nice if there was some simple mechanism for people just like even coming into the meeting that you'd be like indicating that you and somehow that it was your icon change or whatever. Anyway, but uh, yeah, well, so uh, Yarrow, did you need my input on uh, the? I mean, I've I've done the info agile ventures thing there, Thomas. Uh, okay. I don't know. Was there a chore in there? Yeah, I can I can find it and just click. Click it. Yeah. finish. Excellent. Uh, so Yara, we've got that. Yeah, I mean, I guess you're going to have a muck around just seeing if you can get the gem file to work. I have. I have. While we were talking, in fact, I returned to the original gem files and original Travis, and that Zen test is not being installed. If you go to the pull request for. Um, you see, the there are no changes to gem file or gem file lock, and it's it's not oh, been okay. run by so Travis. This is now oh, here, right? So now, so you've updated this pull request, um, and so this one. If you, yeah, yeah, if you look so at the latest now, so, latest build. Uh, maybe I'm not. Uh, I don't have to. Okay, I gotta go, guys. Yeah. Talk to you later. All right. Thanks, Thomas. Up with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Yaro, I got this this thing. So yeah. So if you can for if you can set it up so this forwards to um, info at agileventures dot org. Mm, uh, yeah. Sure. Sure. I will ask. Uh, I will ask Thomas. That's okay. Uh, I think it's easier for him to do that. But yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, but here. Hello. Oh. Hello. Okay, gem file. Det är jag jobbar. Men nu svarar jag åtminstone med ett SMS att jag skulle ringa snart eller hur? Kom oss. Det var inte så farligt va? Okay. Um. All right. Maybe is that one line in gem file that end? Yeah. No, I think that, I think this this, this is now I've refreshed probably and yeah. So we've got gem file. It just you know ends up only removing a thing from the end. Auto grade spec uh, is now more extensive. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'd love to kind of look at these in more detail, but I think is you. So you paired on this with Paul. Um, yeah. The main yeah. thing is, uh, please have a look at Travis for this last uh, commit. Ah. Okay. Uh, uh, that's the main thing that uh, holds us up. Uh, ah. The last one. Yeah. Okay. So if you just click here, and it's that Zen test again. What's this Zen test all about? Well, it's basically some problem with an earlier version of Zentest that we often have to fix by hand. But so uh, that's interesting that that, I mean, the simple thing in some ways, I think, for me to do within Agile Ventures RAG here at the moment, and is this, this is on, it's onto the develop, isn't it? Let's go to Agile Ventures RAG, and let's look at master, and let's look at the gemfile.lock on there. So that's 494, and if we look at the develop, I, uh, I'm just thinking. Could it be? Could it be that, um, for example, you know, the Ruby uh, the Ruby gems have gone up a version, and now yeah, I think, I think that was the, uh, that, that that was the that was the problem that the Ruby gems increased the version, and so I think what 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 we we counted this on local support, and the problem was that uh, the oh, I forgot what it's called, Travis had gone up on the Ruby gems. And we have, mm-hmm, yeah. So it was still passing on people's local systems, and then you know it failed. 
But so I've I've, I've just updated here in the, at least in the develop branch. I've added Ventures to Zendesk 4.95, um, and uh, let's I, I don't know if, this, if we can force this to kick off as a result. I think conceivably you will need to um, uh, pull in the upstream changes there. Sure. And then, it, as a result, it will update this, and then that may may fix that. But you want to give that a try? I, I, I should I should step away from the computer briefly. I mean, I'm, I'm, Tuesday is my day. I'm supposed to work on the um, I forgot what it's called now, uh, computer organization course. Uh, but yeah, so uh, well, this good. So uh, pa- Pavel and Dima, are you planning to pair now as well? Uh, not right now. No. And Dima? Yeah, I will. Okay, so Dima, Pete, and Yaro are free. I, I guess I'll leave it to you guys to work out between you what you're gonna gonna work on. Uh, y- Yaro, keep pinging me if, if that that thing doesn't fix it, and we'll make sure we'll get this sorted. Yeah, I'll play around. All right, nice nice one, guys. Speak to you in a bit. Yeah.